Now shift that example just a little bit. Um, imagine that you have a, a combination lock. Yep. And I used to do this little thought experiment with my students. And I like it, yep. I would uh, pass a combination lock around in class, and I would pretend that what I was trying to prove was that the fine tuning was too improbable to happen by chance, and that that was the basis of my argument for design. And so I passed the combination lock around, and I'd have different students try to open the combination by chance alone, right, left, right. I'd even tell them, go right, left, right. And they try and try again, and they failed. One student failed, next student failed, next student failed. But finally, I get to about the fourth student, and the student would go right, left, right, and then pop the lock open. The students would all hoot and howl at me like they'd refuted my thought experiment because, <laughs> look, it just happened by chance. And then I'd kind of embarrassed, I'd feign embarrassment. And then finally, someone would almost always say, wait a minute, was, that for, was he for real? Because when you do the odds and it's one in 64,000 to get it right, and then there's only a few seconds to do it, and, and people would then say, was he a setup? Was that a plant? And the students start accusing me of, of, and I'd say, why would I do that? But then I'd walk over to the student and say, well, was that a, was that a setup job? And he'd look kind of sheepish for a minute, and then he'd fish into his pocket, give the combination. And of course, I had set it up. I'd given him the combination in advance. And so then I'd tell the students the real uh, point of the, of, of, the, of, the, of the gag, which is that you detected design. You started to su suspect me of cheating because not only did you witness a highly improbable event, but there was also a pattern match. There was a specification that the combination, those three turns, matched the independent requirements for opening the lock that we could specify on a piece of paper independently of the event. And so we had a small probability event that was also specified in a way to perform a function, to achieve something, in this case, open the lock. And that's what we have going on with the fine tuning. Small probabilities plus specification in our universal experience indicates design. And in the case of the fine tuning, what we have is a set of highly improbable parameters that are jointly necessary to achieve a very significant outcome, which is the production of life in the universe. So they perform a functional outcome. And the conjunction of those two things triggers an awareness in the human mind of the action of another mind, of a designing intelligence. And that's why so many physicists have said, as Paul Davies has said, great physicists, the impression of design is overwhelming when he's talking about the fine tuning.